One of the things that really hurt me, really, really hurt me, is that people that are taxi drivers, all over the Gulf, I'm not talking about them, all over the Gulf, people that are taxi drivers, or people that are you know, servants, the cleaning crew in the hotels, people that are working in the stores, you know, people that are cleaning the streets, we pass by them and we don't even say salam to them. We don't even say salam. Oh, these are, uh, these are just, and it hurts me, man. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Al-Kasibu Habibullah. Al-Kasibu Habibullah. The one who works hard to earn his money is the beloved of Allah. Allah loves the one who works hard to earn his money. The guy, the Pathan guy who's making naan all day and his shalwar kameez is like brown, even though it's white, it's turned brown and gray. He worked all day and he passes by you like, Yeh kaise log aagay? No, 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 wait a second. Al-Kasib. Habibullah, you should, they, at the very least they deserve your salams. At the very least they deserve your salams. And we've ingrained this idea that some people are better than others. There's no such thing in this religion. Every human being is equal. Every human being is equal. And especially the Muslims. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ مَاذَا? إِخْوَى Not darajat. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَى All believers are equal. This guy comes to me, you worked at the hotel, he recognized me. Sir, can I take a picture with you? I was like, why are you calling me sir, bro? I'm your brother. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir, brother, can I take a picture with you? <laughs> it's embedded in the mind that some people are better than them. That's not right. That's not right. People are dignified. This is religion. We stand in one row, yes or no? You don't check somebody's passport before you put them in the first row. You don't say, hey, how much money you make? Oh, you go to fourth row. You don't do that. The, the salah itself teaches us that every human being is supposed to be treated equally. Your maw'idha hasana in this society and in so many Muslim societies. This is happening in Pakistan. This is happening. I'm not even picking on the Gulf, guys. I'm not even picking on. This is happening in Pakistan, Egypt, Bangladesh. You know, India. You go there. You go there. You know, some, some rich family goes and they go to a restaurant. You know, and I, I saw it with my own eyes one time. They go to a restaurant and this, you know, the tinted windows and the kid rolls the automatic window down. He's like 12 year old boy inside, rich boy, 12 years old. And the old man who comes to, sir, chai ladu sir? And the old man, old man, 60 year old man. And he says, ya le kya? Go get it. Like he's talking to somebody like five years old or something. Ji me kya sir? Ji, 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 ji. Man, if I wasn't get, gonna get arrested, I would have taken that kid out of that kid. Come on, let me say about karo. They're older than those are. It's an older person. You treat them with respect. You treat them with respect. What's the point of memorizing Quran, studying the Book of Allah, and you don't treat the janitor with respect, and the cleaner with respect, and the taxi driver with respect? You don't treat. What are you learning? Why are you learning this? What's the point? So you have to, you have to, we have to change our thinking. This is more ila hasana for you to make people feel dignified in this society. Give them good counsel. Speak to them like equals. Speak to them with respect. You know, every human being deserves respect. Every human being. And I told you today, it's not just the Muslims. Every human being should be treated with respect. Why in the world would they want to come close to Islam when they see us behave like this? What reason have we given them? People keep saying the problem of the ummah is the political problem. It's the economic problem. It's the social problem. It's the education. I say no. The problem of the ummah is the hikmah problem. It's the hikmah problem. It's the maw'idha hasana problem. That's the real problem we have. And there, by the way, in da'wah, that doesn't mean you're always soft. This is the wisdom of Allah, everything is balanced. You're not always soft. Sometimes people attack you. Sometimes people make fun of you. Sometimes people insult your Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When that happens, this is not the time to be soft. This is the time to be tough. And so what does he say? Ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah wal maw'idhatil hasana wa jadilhum billati hiya ahsan and debate with them, argue with them, take them head on with something that is better, 
with what is better. If they argue, you argue with something better. If they use anger, you use calmness. If they use dirty words, you only use clean words. Because every time you respond, it should be with something what? Something better. It should be with something.